Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Karma Joel. I'm here with Miss Mumble Zero Mumbles and Queen of Explosions and Scowl and George. Hey. And we are going to make an instructional video on how to properly high five. Some of the most common mistakes made while high fiving include completely missing your partner's hand or accidentally injuring your partner while you're high fiving. <laughs> Another common misconception is that the total number of fingers involved must add up to five. So one person will throw in a three, and the other throws in a one. Seven. The ingredients involved in a basic high five include at least two people who have at least two hands and contact. For the beginner high fiver, we recommend that you offer your hand as the plant hand for a more experienced high fiver to take the action themselves. Good high five. We should high five about that. A good trick to remember for a beginner high fiver is the elbow trick. If you look at your partner's elbow during the high five, you'll never miss. This is what happens when you don't look at your partner's elbow. It's not pretty. The best part about a high five is that you don't have to be stationary when you perform it. If you and your partner are both on the go, you can exchange a quick greeting in the form of slapping each other's hands on the way. This is a good place to use the elbow trick, if you don't have too much time to prepare for the high five. What's up? These next moves are not to be performed at home. These are for truly, exceptionally advanced, high-fiving ningas. Yeah, bitches. Get ready. techniques, you'll be able to evolve to the next level of advanced high-fiving. Where is that? 